No matter where you live in America, get ready for some new neighbors. The Biden administration might, emphasize might, be calling uncle on the border crisis. NBC reports the Department of Homeland Security wants to bus or fly illegal immigrants to anywhere USA as their facilities on the border really no longer function effectively because there are simply too many people. And each month, sets a new record of border crossers and people then released into the United States. But first, I know what you are thinking. Where's the border czar? The woman in charge of the border crisis for this administration. The woman who has the power to bring each part of the vast federal government together to secure the southern border and stop illegal immigration at its roots. The woman who can travel the world and force other leaders to help. Exactly. Where is Kamala Harris? She said, and the president took office since then, back in January of 2021. Since then, 2.7 million people came across the southern border illegally. At current rates, 115,000 come every two weeks. That is roughly the population of College Station, Texas. Last month, nearly half of all crossers got a Welcome to America packet. Came here illegally, half were released into the United States. And the numbers on your screen do not count the gotaways otherwise known as people that Border Patrol saw on their cameras, but didn't have the resources to chase. We're gonna to get to chasing some of those folks in just a minute. Vice President Harris right now is at the place where you could really get a handle on this problem, actually. Live pictures from the Summit of the Americas in Los Angeles. President Biden is already there. It officially opens tomorrow. The Vice President will speak, we understand, in just about 30 minutes, but earlier today, she gave some thoughts here is the border czar just ahead of the conference. To address this issue, government cannot do it alone. We must partner with the private sector and civil society to address what we know can be addressed. Couldn't be clearer, really. And who better to address those issues with than the president of Mexico? whose border we share and all immigrants who come across our southern border come through. The president of Honduras, where most of the illegal immigrants also come through and tens of thousands come from, or her, perhaps the president of El Salvador, whose gangs terrorize the population. There's only one problem. None of them will be at the summit of the Americas. The president of Mexico boycotted because his buddies, including the presidents of Venezuela and Nicaragua, weren't invited. The president of Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador uh, just didn't show up. None of those countries have done much of anything to stop the flow of citizens north and into the United States. Because of the huge increase in illegal immigration, more and more dangerous felons who've already been convicted of felonies in the United States slip through the border and head to a town near you. Brian Enton went along as ICE agents tried to track down the worst of the worst and joins us now. Hi, Brian. Hey, Leland. Yeah, you're talking about the border and we see the, the visuals every day of what looks like uncontrolled chaos there. It's easy to forget that in these American cities, there are these ICE officers working very, very hard uh, to go after these migrants who are classified as dangerous. We rode along with a team. Uh, there was basically this special undercover operation that's been happening over the last week in cities throughout America. We went with an officer, an ICE officer, uh, several of them here in Miami. They were going after a target, uh, a Jamaican migrant who is a repeat offender, uh, has a history of battery, of, of beating up women, um, and also has snuck into the country over and over again. Uh, they were able to track him down, arrest him, take him to a detention center, uh, and we are told that he will face charges and be deported. But look at these numbers, Leland, because this is interesting. The priorities have obviously changed under President Biden. They are arresting far fewer people. You compare 2019 and 143,000 arrests, 2021, 74,000, about a 50% drop. That's ICE arrests overall, but this is also important when you look at the aggravated felony arrests. That is the uh, priority of the Biden administration. There have actually been more arrests. Uh, fiscal year 2021, uh, 12,000 arrests, 2020, uh, 6,800 arrests. So they are uh, prioritizing these dangerous migrants. Listen to what the uh, ICE officer that we rode with had to say. We can't go after every individual in the country. We have to prioritize. We have to, to make sure that the cases we're going after uh, fall into the priorities and probably more importantly, fall into our limited resources. So we have to do it smartly, efficiently. 
And Leland, these officers are in a tricky spot. Uh, a lot of them have worked for ICE for a long time, and basically their job and their priorities totally change, as you know, depending on who is the president. Under Trump, they were told to basically go out and arrest anyone who was here illegally. Now they have these very specific parameters uh, only going after people classified as dangerous. Brian, you're a great reporter, which is uh, why I know you asked this question. The Jamaican that they arrested who'd been convicted of multiple felonies. You said he'd been in and out of the United States. He'd been deported before. They've got to just realize that he's probably going to come back, right? Yeah, I mean, he's been deported before. And something else interesting, you might notice we didn't show his face. ICE has these guidelines that are more strictly enforced under the Biden administration, where they actually protect the migrants' privacy, even migrants like that with these extensive criminal histories, which we thought was very interesting doing this story because it's like if you do a ride along with yeah, local no, police we, and we, I American got 30 citizen, seconds. When you were talking, you can shoot the face. When you were talking to these ICE agents, even off the record, don't give me names, were they a little frustrated that they're arresting these dangerous felons, shipping them back home, and so many of them are still coming back across? Of course. I mean, yeah, you can imagine they go, you know, these ICE agents put their lives on the line to go and get these guys and then they just come right back in. The hope, though, uh, is with this Jamaican. Once they deport him, he'll finally get the message. <laughs> well, um, we'll find out. Uh, Brian, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, good to see you. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.